When you come to the hospital, please make sure that you come at least two hours before your surgery time. Pre-anesthesia, the nurses there will let you know what time your surgery is and what time you need to be here. We have lots of things that we need to do with you and if you come just before your actual surgery time, we're probably gonna have to postpone your surgery. When you come to the hospital, you're gonna come into what is called the Providence Plaza building. That's the building that's attached to the hospital. You're gonna come up to the second floor. You can use either the green elevator or the purple elevator. Find your way to registration. You'll get registered and then they'll take you over to the short stay area where we're gonna get you ready for surgery. You're gonna meet your admitting nurse and your care team. We're gonna ask you all those questions all over again. Actually, your allergies, your medications. We actually want to know what medications you took and when the last time you took those. So if you can't remember, write it down. Bring it in with you. This really helps us. This is the time where you're gonna meet your anesthesiologist just prior to surgery many times. They're gonna go over your health history all over again. They're gonna confirm your allergies, what medicines you took, and your health history to come up with an anesthesia plan for you. You may have a block, what we call a nerve block, to eliminate the pain after surgery. Most patients for surgery have a spinal anesthetic for this type of procedure. We're gonna mark the area that you have your surgery, your hip, your knee. Please don't mark that for us. Your surgeon and you will look, mark that area. You're gonna see your surgeon. If you have any last minute questions, that's the time to ask them. Once you're ready to go into the operating room, you may have a few extra things, some compression hose on your legs. Those will help prevent the blood clots from forming. Your surgeon may prescribe some pain medications that are given just before you go into the operating room. Now when it's time for you to go to the operating room, your family and your friends and whoever else has come with you will be taken over to the surgery waiting lounge. And it's gonna be really important that they sign in if they're gonna stay there because they'll get a special number that's a, associated with you. And up on the reader board in that room, let's say for example you're number three, your family and friends will be able to see that number three just went to the operating room, number three just went to recovery, and now number three is going up to the orthopedic floor. If your family isn't able to stay, that's okay. Just have them leave a cell phone number where they can be reached. The surgeon will give them a full report by phone. You're gonna be wheeled into the operating room and we all know it's a little bit chilly in there. We'll make sure that you get a nice warm blanket and you're comfortable. The anesthesiologist is going to be doing what is called regional anesthesia. So for our hip and our knee replacements, we prefer to do a spinal anesthesia, which means the anesthesiologist is going to numb a little area in your back and inject an anesthetic. And what's gonna happen is from your belly button down to the tip of your toes, they're gonna go to sleep. Now we prefer the, the spinal anesthesia because there's less blood loss, less risk of blood clots, and there's less risk of surgical site infections. And before you know it, you're gonna wake up, we're gonna put you directly into the bed you're gonna be in up on the orthopedic floor. We'll give you a nice warm blanket and we'll take you over to the recovery room. Hi, my name is Sandy and I'm one of the nurses here at Providence. We're here to make your experience comfortable and the best you've ever had in a surgical experience. Most likely, you will not remember your entire experience, but you will be able to speak with us, answer our questions, and let us know the concerns or any needs that you might have. I will be checking your vital signs. I will be asking if you have any pain. If you've had a total knee joint replaced, we will be doing the nerve block in the recovery room as explained by your anesthesiologist. At this time, we will close the curtains around your bed to ensure privacy. After we have ensured that you're safe and that your vital signs are stable and that 
your pain is under control, if you have any. Usually you don't in recovery. But remember, if you start having any discomfort, let your nurse know. When you are medically stable, we're gonna move you up to three east, which is the spine ortho floor, and you're gonna be taken care of, and that will be the point that you'll be starting your post-op recovery for your total knee or your total hip replacement. Hi, I'm Katie Hutchinson, Executive Director of the Providence Community Health Foundation. We're very proud to provide these videos to you. If you'd like to join us in the foundation and the work we do, please let us know. Grateful patients are the source of the gifts that make these things possible. Thank you.